Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Saturday the 18th of April. I'm back with another question and answer session. I've still got hundreds of questions that Tottenham fans put on the last couple of question and answer session videos. So if you would like to ask me a question for the next video, please do put it in the comment section below. It can be absolutely anything. So first up, let's start with a question from Nikki. And Nikki asks, if you could add any English player from the following this summer, who would you pick? Um, Aaron's from Norwich, Grealish from Villa, or Rice from West Ham? As much as I think that Tottenham need to improve on the defence, I would definitely bring in Jack Grealish. I tell you what, when we beat them, um, when Sonny scored that last minute winner at Villa Park and we beat them 3-2, that day, Jack Grealish for me was absolutely fantastic. And of course, he was on the losing side. He's been on the losing side a number of times this Premier League season, but he has been their standout player. Um, he, he is just at the heart of everything Aston Villa. He is at the heart of everything that goes on on that pitch. He is a fantastic talent. And uh, yes, I would love to see Jack Grealish in a Tottenham shirt in the future. The next question is from Super Wishcash Charlie. And I must say, before I uh, read out your question, Charlie, you have commented on my channel over 300 times. So thank you very much for your input. It's obvious that you watch this channel on a regular basis. So thank you very much. Um, the question from Charlie is, apart from Harry Kane and Hun Min Son, who has been Tottenham's player of the season? For me, it's Lo Celso. He's been an incredibly um, fantastic player since the game against Norwich. Extremely exciting talent. Charlie, I completely agree with you. Apart from Harry Kane and Hun Min Son, I think that um, Giovanni Lo Celso has been a breath of fresh air um, since Jose Mourinho has come in. And really, when Mourinho came in, it looked like Lo Celso was going to be heading out the door. It didn't look like he was, he was going to be his type of player. Um, to fit in, um, but with all the injuries that we've had, I think it has actually helped Lo Celso um, come on, um, and he has been a fantastic talent, and I can't wait to see more of him. Um, I think next season will be his season to really, really shine in the Premier League. A question here from Hamza Abdi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The question is, do we need a new goalkeeper? Is Hugo and Paolo Gazzaniga good enough? Now, let me start with Paolo Gazzaniga. I think whenever Paolo Gazzaniga has come in for Tottenham, he has done a, a great job, uh, particularly when, if you look at his career stats, he hasn't actually played that many um, competitive games for a football club. So for him to come in um, to Tottenham, play in the Champions League, play in various cup competitions, play in the league when Hugo Lloris has been injured, I think that Gazaniga has been an excellent number two. It can never be easy um, being a goalkeeper, always being a number two, and only ever playing those cup games or the games when the number one is injured. Um, but fair play to Gazaniga, I think he's done a great job. Um, Hugo Lloris, at the end of the day, Hugo Lloris is our club captain. If Jose Mourinho was to, to change that in the future, then I think it would, uh, you know, I think we'd all have a different opinion. But Hugo Lloris is our captain. So to, for people to keep questioning whether Hugo Lloris is good enough, I cannot see how you can just take your captain out of the team. Um, but the question is, do we need a new goalkeeper? I don't think so personally. I think Hugo Lloris is a fantastic goalkeeper. Yes, he makes the odd mistake, but... Lots of goalkeepers make mistakes. At the end of the day, Hugo Lloris is our captain. He is a World Cup winning captain as well. Um, a fantastic goalkeeper. I think he's got so much more to give. And uh, I hope that he is our captain next season. A question here from Lee Stone. And Lee says, is voiding the season not unfair to teams like Leeds and West Brom? Yes, I think it would be extremely unfair to void the season. Um, and then, you know, it'd be very, very unfair on Leeds and West Brom. Um, and of course, Liverpool, uh, the teams in the Champions League places, the teams in the Europa League places who perhaps wouldn't normally be there. Uh, look at Sheffield United, for, for example, if they voided the season. Um, the interesting thing is, is if they do void the season, how on earth will they sort out who plays Champions League football next season, who plays Europa League football 
who gets promoted, who gets relegated. If they went on the previous seasons, then uh, it means that Tottenham would be in next season's Champions League. It would be fantastic for us, but I'm not sure that all of the other teams in the Premier League um, and indeed the Championship, etc., would agree. Um, I think it is a very, very difficult decision to make. Of course, the Premier League met again yesterday and they... They are so focused on finishing the 2019-2020 season um, and that's what I will see happening. I really, really do. I think there's so much involved. I think there's so much money involved, uh, players' contracts, etc. as well. Um, it is a huge mess, but it is the right decision with what's going on in the world right now, you know, not to be playing. Um, but I do see them finishing the 2019-2020 season. Uh, when that will be, who knows? But even if it went into... June, July, August, um, I can see them finishing it. A question here from Terry Bishop, and Terry says, do you think all of our big names players will leave Spurs if we don't win any silverware in the future? Um, the short answer to that is yes. I think that um, players' careers are all about trophies. When you look at some of the players that have played with us uh, you know, for some time, it's a shame that they haven't won trophies. I think it's a shame when you look at players like Moussa Dembele, left Spurs, um, you know, great player for us, no trophy. Um, you look at players like Carl Walker, they leave Tottenham, they've gone on to win many, many trophies. Um, but Jose Mourinho is a proven winner. He, you know, it's been said hundreds and millions of times, um, even by myself. Um, the board have obviously thought that Jose Mourinho is the man to deliver us trophies and you know to deliver us you know good things in the near future. Um, big names, I suppose you're talking about the likes of Harry Kane, Hunmin Son, Deli Ali, Hugo Lloris, um, you know players like this. Um, Harry Kane has already hinted that if if Tottenham aren't showing the right intention, then he would be looking to to move on because he's not going to stay at Tottenham for the sake of it. His words, not mine. Um, so yes, I think that if Tottenham aren't going in the right direction, I think that our big names will start looking elsewhere. That is why it is very, very important, um, you know, to be to be bringing in players and show the intention, you know, of where we need to be and where we want to be. Are we going for the Premier League? Are we going just for a top four finish? Are we going, you know, to to win an FA Cup or a League Cup? Where do Tottenham want to be? Jose Mourinho has come in. Everyone's expecting him to win silverware, certainly next season, because he's done it most times, his first full season, um, at every club that he's been at. So, you know, it, I'm hoping that it will be an exciting season next year and we will be lived in a trophy. A question here from Mike Chase, and Mike asks, what's your favourite kit of all time? And guess mine. Mike, my favourite kit has probably got to be the 1991 kit, um, the last time we won the FA Cup, 29 years ago. I cannot believe it. Um, it's one of the first kits that I remember having and buying um, and uh, having it as a kid. And uh, it's, the f it's the first memory really of uh, of Tottenham winning a cup for me so that's probably my favorite and that's probably the reason why um to guess yours I'd probably say one of the kits where we won a trophy so uh you know if I was to go back to the 60s you know I don't know how old you are um but let's uh you know of course Tottenham won trophies in the 60s 70s and 80s and of course 90s um but let's go for either the 67 um, shirt in the uh, you know when we won against Chelsea two one at Wembley in the FA Cup, um, or perhaps 1984 UEFA Cup shirt. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below what your favourite shirt is, and everybody else watching, please do let me know your favourite shirt and the reasons why. A question here from Bjorn, and Bjorn says, "Do you think that we will buy Willian and Diego Godin?" Um, I do Tottenham news videos every day and I read so many media reports and there are just so many reports about Tottenham signing Willian. Um, and yes, I can see that happening. Jose Mourinho is a huge fan and admirer of Willian. Of course, they've worked together at Chelsea. He knows his strengths. He knows how he plays. He knows what he can do. He knows that Willian can fit in to many, many positions. 
Will Tottenham fans like a signing um, like Willian? I don't think so. Um, but if Willian was banging in goals and uh, assisting uh, the likes of Harry Kane, I think that you know people would grow to like him. Um, but um, would we sign Diego Godin? I don't think so. I don't think that that is uh, a Tottenham type signing. Um, I don't think it's one for the future either. Um, but please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. A question here from Moses, and Moses says, Who is a better coach, Jose Mourinho or Pochettino? Europa League may be a very good opportunity for Spurs to win a European competition again. Um, well, where do I start? Um, Pochettino, I think, is a fantastic coach. Um, I think that he was very, very unlucky not to win a trophy at Tottenham, and I'm very, very frustrated and feel very sad about him not doing it, as I've said hundreds of times on this channel, and I'm always picked up on it um, for my love for Pochettino. Um, but he really was a fantastic coach and uh, was very unlucky. Um, a great man manager. Uh, you know, lots of players said um, that they felt like Pochettino was like a father figure. You know, there's not many managers, um, you know, spoken about in that way by by players. Um, so there was a huge respect for Pochettino in, in that way, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, Jose Mourinho, you would never, ever get that, would you? People wouldn't be saying, you know, Jose Mourinho is like a father figure to me. He's not that sort of manager. Um, but do we need a manager that's that little bit harder? Uh, you know, complains a lot. You know, we've certainly got that. Um, Jose Mourinho has been there. He's won every single trophy um, in the football uh, competition. So, um, who is the better coach, Jose Mourinho or Pochettino? I'm going to probably have to go with Jose Mourinho because of the trophies that he's won. Um, I'm hoping that he will deliver a trophy very, very soon for Tottenham, obviously. Um, Pochettino, I wish all the very best to whatever he does in the future because I'm sure that Pochettino will go on to be an excellent coach and win many, many trophies with, uh, with future clubs. Now, Moses also says um, Europa League may be a very good opportunity for Spurs to win a European competition again. I completely agree. On last week's uh, question and answer video, I said if Tottenham didn't get a Champions League place, I, as a Tottenham fan, would love Tottenham to get into the Europa League rather than having no European football at all because I think that a club like Tottenham, a stadium like the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, needs European football, whether it's Champions League or Europa League football. And I completely agree, Moses. Europa League, um, if we were in it next season, if we, if we got there, um, I think that Jose Mourinho would go all out to win the Europa League exactly like he did with Manchester United. A question here from Michael Lopez, and Michael writes, Chris, you're still having trouble emotionally letting go of Pochettino as you could not resist stating your preference and love for him over Jose Mourinho, despite the fact he's never won so much as a ham sandwich at the club. George Graham was a better manager for us than Pochettino. Why? Because he's won us a trophy with far less resources and an inferior team. Well, if you go back over the last five or six seasons um, under Pochettino, you will obviously that you you will obviously see that um, Maurizio Pochettino guided Tottenham to Champions League football exactly what the board wanted. They wanted that top four place. Why did Maurizio Pochettino get the sack? Because the board thought that we weren't going to reach top four. It wasn't about winning trophies. It's about the top four. I think that the uh, the goals have changed when George Graham was our manager. Um, anything would have done, any any trophy would have done. We were never, ever going to win the Premier League um, whilst George Graham was at the club or during that period of time. Tottenham have changed now. Tottenham are um, really, you know, I got told off for this last week, but we are an established Champions League team. We are an established top four team. We've been there for the last five seasons or so. So that's what the club wanted. So... I don't think that George Graham was nowhere near um, you know, any sort of manager that, that Pochettino was. Yes, I think it's a shame that Pochettino didn't win a, us a trophy at the club. Um, yes, it will go down in history. How many, how many trophies did Pochettino win at Tottenham? Zero. How many did George Graham win? One. 
Um, that's just one of those mad, mad stats. Ramos won us a trophy as well. Does that make him a better manager than Mauricio Pochettino? Um, Pochettino was obviously given the target and the goal of finishing top four every season for Tottenham to get us in that top four Champions League place. And he delivered. And that is what I think is absolutely fantastic by Pochettino. And I know that you know, you think that I love Pochettino. I absolutely adore the guy and I never, ever wanted him to leave um, because he constantly delivered. Nobody can argue with that. He constantly delivered what was asked of him. You know, would it have been better that we won a League Cup um, and didn't get in the top four and didn't get Champions League football? To the football club, absolutely not because of the money rolling in from Champions League football. What money would we get from the League Cup? Although... I would love Tottenham to win a League Cup or an FA Cup. You know, people think I'm absolutely mad, but um, I need, you know, to, to be seeing Tottenham winning trophies. You know, 2008, our last trophy, which was the League Cup, is far too long. But Pochettino delivered what Tottenham wanted. And lastly, a question from John asking, how is Spurs fan Dave? Well, first of all, John, thank you for all of your comments on this channel. I know you comment on most of the videos I put out, so thank you very much. Um, and Dave has recorded this just for you, and he's done it in landscape. So well done, Dave. Good morning. How are you? How is everybody? Um... Uh, it's uh, Saturday the 18th of April and I uh, thought I'd give you an update on what's going on up at um, with me and uh, and the family and uh, anything Tottenham wise but um, yeah I've been, uh, I've been doing a little bit of work uh, from the office as I normally do anyway I've obviously not been able to get out much uh, keeping up to date with Chris's videos and uh, all things Tottenham, as you know, and uh, yeah, I've I've given Chris a little question: uh, Will football ever be the same after all this um, pandemic? Because it's been such a you know uh, an unforeseen and a special event that um, you know the aftermath is going to be very interesting to see what transpires. Um, glad to see Tottenham have finally seen the light and they've really realised the error of their ways. And um, yeah, uh, for that I'm grateful. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be funny the old times when it does resume and. Um, you know, uh, it just shows you that um, what what can be done if everyone pulls in the same direction. And I think it's been a fantastic support from the country as a whole. And um, yeah, we're all missing our football, but there's there's greater things. And um, I just thought I'd let you know that we're all right here and um, looking forward to getting back uh, back to normal, I suppose. But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, I just thought I'd let you know that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm all, all right. I haven't got it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so over, for, over, over and out now and um, keep, keep, keep well and safe, everybody, and um, up the spurs. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please do put in the comment section below whether you agree with what I've said, whether you disagree with what I've said, and your thoughts and comments. If you have got a question, please do put it in the comment section below. I'll be doing another question and answer session tomorrow. I'll see you then. Come on, you Spurs.